Hi, it's Laura at Hyperstamper. Today's junk journal is uh, using antique and vintage ephemera uh, from the last 100 to 140 years. And everything in here is authentic antique and vintage ephemera and the theme is teachers. So there is, there is just so many pieces in here that are teacher themed and school themed. Um, I pulled, this is actually on a 1941 book, so it is over 80 years old. And then I added this 1925 children's book image, uh, which is a teacher showing a color chart to her kids. And this is from another children's book at the back, Notes to Teacher. I put some uh, hand tatted lace antique around the edges and some of my vintage beads here, along with some ribbon. I just love the color, this beautiful light green. And uh, the original book is called Mountain Meadow. But this is a teacher's book. So it is the end of the year coming up. So if you wanted to look for a teacher's gift or if you're a teacher yourself or you know a teacher, um, visit hyperstamper.etsy.com and you'll see this in my Etsy shop until it's gone. <laughs> so right away on the inside here is a wonderful book from 1879. It is Gage and Company's uh, high school arithmetic book. Um, all that is left of this book, unfortunately, when I received it was just the cover and a few arithmetic pages inside, which I have long since used, but these are the original first pages. And I added a antique dictionary page here with teach at the top. Um, I, I wanted to put this little atlas page in for the geography part of teaching. And then this is a 1920 photograph of I, what I think is a school. This particular one had no writing on it but it does look like a school that usually had a boy's entrance and a girl's entrance. This is from a 1920s children's book page going to school. And it's one of those wonderful fuzzy cardstock pages that I adore. This one here is from the late 1800s, School Life. And this is a book pocket from the 70s um, with the library card in it, Dr. Seuss, ABC. Isn't that cool? And then this is just the original first page of this book. Um, 1941 and that, that should live with all my journals have the first pages in them if I have them. There's that vintage Dr. Seuss book ABC. I thought that was perfect for teachers and you have to have an apple. That came from a vintage Pictionary uh, book which is very cool because it has all the pictures and words and that's what the teachers would have used to teach different word games. And this is also from a teacher's uh, book uh, a teaching tool and this would have been for seasons and then uh, down here just some more words and some child through the years has uh, written numbers on there so probably the teacher has them on the board. I thought that was kind of fun. This here is uh, Dalhousie College um, and it is uh, from 1913. This is actually now a university, one of the highest ranked universities actually in Canada. Let me put that in there. So those are kind of cool school themed pieces. Here's another very cool vintage teacher's piece that was found in a uh, vintage magazine all about teaching here. Kind of a cool keep and just a little notepad here that I made out of some hard cardstock, not cardstock, sorry, card page board and I just added some note pages there. Another wonderful vintage children's book page here of a school, public library, books and words. Perfect. This is the Dr. Zeus spine from that uh, vintage ABC book. You can see how old that is there. Isn't that wonderful? And just some really fun clusters. Uh, vintage uh, ledger page. This one is for committees attendance. Now their works do follow them. And I thought that was perfect for teachers, that little antique book page here from the late 1800s. And then this is from 1925 from an art education book. And look at this wonderful print here. Look at the vibrant colors to this day, a hundred years later. And this teacher is teaching the children about color and this wonderful uh, learning about painting here. So that's a really stunning piece. And you can enjoy that a little bit of, whoops, let me just refill that journaling space here and then up here as well. And this just came out of a 1951 yearbook, Teachers, Secretaries. They actually had secretary clubs. Go figure. And then the guys did the dance band. <laughs> oh, 50s. Uh, 
This is pretty spectacular. This is from the early 1900s as well. Brittle as can be, but I mounted it onto another antique piece of paper that's thicker to give it some strength. And you can journal on there. The student's pride. It's a march. Wonderful, wonderful. This is just sort of an education page that it's mounted on top of. And we've got the telephone on one side. This is from the 40s. And then up here, I have another wonderful 1925 page. There's the kids in art class. And here they are. Probably they're looking at flowers and reading. And then here is some wonderful typography, uh, the alphabet. And those, of course, are designed letters. So the lesson is about how the artist would design the type. And just another wonderful image there. And then this is mounted inside a 19... Uh, 20s children's book page. It says, I am going to school down here. That's so cool. Antique book page, thought book. Because that's what these are. Fun. This is actually a little piece of a flag there. And this is a lovely uh, hand typed page here from 1978, all about reading. And this is from the 1800s here. And it says notes. I added some more paper on there because, again, very brittle when it's 120 years old or more. And a nice little journaling tag here. And I pulled it from a vintage, or sorry, an antique dictionary because it says kindly and kindness there. And I, two of my favorite words, 1955 stamp collector's book page. And I made it into a pocket, boys and girls at school. And I was going to cover this to make it a journaling spot, but I couldn't because it was just too precious. Toys at school. Love it. So you can have lots of fun with that. Journaling space here and here. And then just a really, really beautiful plate here uh, from the early 1900s. And this is from a music school magazine, the Etude. So it advertises all the different kinds of um, music schools that you could go to. So that, that counts for teachers because they had a ton of music teachers. A little journaling space here, embroidery just to get more of the vintage in here. And this is a wonderful vintage plate here. Just uh, a family going to uh, a store, a toy store and looking in the window. This is a arithmetic page from the 1800s. Just a fun journaling tag there with an antique book page. That is a, a school that is from a vintage children's book. And this is the inside page um, of that Dr. Seuss ABC book. Just more journaling space for you there. This is so much fun. Okay, this is from 1886, January 30th, handwritten with a quilled pen and ink. And then this here is stories. And I thought all teachers for young children tell stories. So I put some journaling paper in here. That's a double antique book page here. And then at the back, there's just a really fun um add here or sorry a news article here just uh, things that you would have maybe done in home ec so i thought that was kind of cool put that back in sorry it's taking me fiddling fiddly fiddle and keep going this is a school a student's school project on plants and seeds and this is from 1937. don't you love the duotang reinforcements they were uh, made of linen crochet pocket here, children's book page here, another fun cluster. And here I've got two 1950s receipts, some uh, vintage school pages, index card, and this is a vintage recipe page book that was a fundraiser, guess what, for a school. So we had to put that in there. Uh, again, here is a, a student learning how to cook. This is from uh, the early 1920s. And it is, you can see the teacher's mark up there with the red ink. So usually only teachers could have red ink or should have red ink back in the day. Vintage paper here. That's a really cool school page. And then this is from a 1920s geography book. Isn't that fantastic? So that's Neo Capito. And it says the, um, the islands in the Pacific United States. Another school book page here that looks like children's in the classroom and another wonderful silhouette here teachers the new school room 1925 and up here the why of it and I thought that was a great question for students and teachers why always why put that back in here 
and more botanicals from a vintage botanical book friends that you make at school some vintage crochet i made a pocket on this side it just has this wonderful uh, first page of an antique book i just love the patterns so that, that was fun more clusters uh, those are book pages from school and this is a wonderful book page from a vintage children's book the alphabet and that's from a pictionary book and this is also from a teacher's manual here clock and record player match the words to the pictures it's a beautiful plate from the 1930s just some fun vintage pieces here and of course a vintage bird book here which has a lovely spread it's not teacher themed but i love putting birds in every journal and then here's another page from the 1925's art education book because it is education i just used uh, some uh, antique book pages here through my die cutter to make some flowers and there is a window pane peekaboo journaling spot and then here is a 1940s um, university yearbook page and this was an ad help for students and on the other side there were advertisements for <laughs> really art deco -y, uh clothing store for men kind of funky and then that brings us to the last book of the original last page of the original book and then back here is the My Spelling Book from the uh, 1940s. And that is the inside of the book. More journaling space here. So I hope you love it as much as I loved making it. Hyperstamper.etsy.com. And don't forget to subscribe.